everyone. It's time for cooking with a message. And I have kind of a different one for you. This is a grill recipe. It's best on the grill. That's what I say. It can be cooked in the oven or on the skillet, but we like it the best on the grill. So before we get to that, let's get into the Word of God. I am in the Old Testament in the book of Daniel. And I'm in chapter 1. Um, and I'm going to be skipping around in a couple of verses here. So, um, so verse 3. Then the king ordered a fence, chief of his court officials, to bring in some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility, young men without any phys physical defect, handsome, and showing aptitude for, ev for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. He was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that they were to enter the king's service. Skipping to verse 8. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine, and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself in this way. And then um, verse 11. Daniel then said to the guard whom the chief official had appointed over Daniel Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test your servants for ten days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare our appearance with that of the young men who eat the royal food and treat your servants in accordance with what you see. So he agreed to do this and tested them for ten days. At the end of the ten days, they looked healthier and better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food. So the guard took away their choice food and the wine they were to drink, and gave them vegetables instead. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning, and Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. And that's just the first chapter. So Daniel knew that the king's food was not going to help him. He knew that some of the food that they were eating was going to go against their Jewish tradition, and that it was going to go against what they felt God had told them not to do. And so when they got told that they were going to be fed all this wonderful food and everything, Daniel said no. But when he said no, it was like saying no to the king. It was almost like a spit in the face. But Daniel said, tell you what, here's what we'll do. You give us vegetables and water, that's it, vegetables and water, for 10 days. And if we get sick or we don't look healthy, then we'll eat your royal food. So at the end of the 10 days, they actually looked healthier and they were more in tune with everything that was going on. And the other guys, because they weren't used to that kind of food, they were sluggish. They weren't able to do some of the things that the others were. Because Daniel knew that the food that the king wanted them to eat was too rich for them. It was not food that they were used to, and it was going to make them sick. And so Daniel said no. And it turned out Daniel was right. The other people ended up getting sick, or they didn't feel quite so good because it was food that they weren't used to. And so they ate vegetables. That was primarily their diet was vegetables. And it turned out Daniel was right. So sometimes when we think about, oh, well, Daniel only ate vegetables, that must mean he was a vegetarian. Not necessarily. It just means that he knew that the food that the king had, was his body would not be able to handle it. It was going to be too rich for him because that was just what he was used to. He was a peasant, and so they didn't have money. They didn't have lots of meat in their diet. So it wasn't something he was used to. And he was trying to take care of his body so that he could serve God. And that's why he said no to the king. Now, in what ways can we serve God by saying no to others? Sometimes it's with food. Sometimes it's with activities. Saying no sometimes can make us closer to God. So maybe saying, no, I'm not going to go to this event because I need to be at church, or no, I'm not going to participate in something that I know will lead me away from God, or no, I don't think I should be doing something like that because I 
know God wouldn't want me to. Or no, because I know if I do it, I won't feel good or I won't feel right about myself if I do it. So Daniel gave us an ex excellent opportunity to learn to take care of ourselves so that we can be servants of God. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for Daniel and for his friends who were willing to say no to the temptation of really good food and to be able to look beyond this table of plenty to see that God had a bigger opportunity for him. Help us to do the same. Amen. Okay, I'm going to adjust my camera here just a little bit and I'll get you started on today's recipe. Okay, I'm back and what we're going to be making is vegetable packets. This is something my family loves. We usually, um, when we pull, turn out the grill for steaks and things like that, a lot of times I'll make these vegetable packets. So here are the things you need and of course it's based upon your preference, what you like or not. Um, but you'll definitely want to have some Lowry seasoning salt, some Pam cooking spray, and some butter. And I usually use stick butter but we're all out, so I've just got tub butter. And then it's whatever vegetables you like. And so I have potatoes um, that are already diced up, carrots, broccoli, onion, mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, asparagus, and some peppers. And if there's anything else that you like, oh, and I have frozen corn. So um, I'm gonna get a tray ready here for us and I'll show you how to put it together. What's really nice about these is you can make them individually for each person. So I start with Pam cooking spray and I spray it pretty good because you don't want this stuff to stick and I start with my potatoes and then I just put on the vegetables that each person would like and this is kind of fun because everybody can make their own packet so I've just put on potatoes carrots broccoli and onion and put on some mushrooms here because my husband and I love mushrooms on ours and some asparagus and some these are Anaheim peppers from our garden we had a slew of them so I'm just gonna put a few of those on they're not hot but you can certainly put whatever you want on and then I like frozen corn a little bit of frozen corn and it fills up really fast so just remember that and then I take seasoned salt and if you want to put garlic powder over the top too, you can, just a little bit. And then if you had butter sticks, what I do, what I do is I cube it up into little tiny pieces and I just spread the butter around the packet. Usually a couple tablespoons is what you need for each packet. It just, the butter flavor adds to the vegetable packet dollops there it's kind of a big packet and then I fold it in I fold in this side actually fold in the sides curl them over fold up the ends and then I take a sharpie and I write who this packet is for on the packet and so I have one packet done and that's as quick and easy and it says Scott on it. So this is for my husband. And then you just go to town and start making them. And then you just put these on your grill for a few minutes and you just flip them over and take them, when you take them off, set them on your plate, let them cool just a little bit because they will be steamy hot. Open them up and we eat it right out of the packet or you can dump it out onto your plate with um, with your steak or your pork chops or your chicken or whatever you want. But um, I have done these in the oven and I have even just taken everything and put it in a skillet and cooked it on the stove. Our favorite is on the grill though. Something about grilling it adds so much flavor. I'll take a picture of this, add it to the post, and you guys just have a great night. Enjoy your grilling time. <laughs>